Hi everybody, Dan here of Trend Spider, and uh, it's about 9 p.m. Chicago time on this uh, lovely Sunday. We've had a, uh, a very busy day with our uh, volatility show today. Over uh, 8,000 people have, uh, or I guess eight, the, the show has been watched about 8,000 times today, which is an incredible number for us. Um, I'm going to take a little time today and uh, uh, try to find a, a cool stock for, for sometime in the next week or two using the scanner. And I thought it would be great if I uh, made a video of me doing this so that uh, some, some people out there who might be thinking about using TrendSpider to try to discover symbols right, for more than just chart analysis uh, could have a little guidance and see how I do it. So, um, you know, with that said, I'm going to just get going. Um, I'm going to narrate what I'm doing so, so you, you can follow along if you choose to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I open the market scanner on the right, and I'm going to load my favorite scan, right? And it's called Triple Inside Consolidation. This scan looks for three inside bars in a row, as defined by my friend Rob Smith on the strat, and that means that they are inside bars measured from the high to the low. Um, so this is three in a row, so the first bar is inside the second bar, the second bar is inside the third bar, and the third bar is inside the fourth bar. We're also going to check this current candle thing. It doesn't really matter right now because the market's closed, but if the market were open, this would allow us to take the current uh, bar into account in our scan. And we're going to switch all of these to the weekly time frame. So, we're going to look for this sequence of three inside bars in a row on the weekly time frame, and we're going to look inside the S&P Composite 1500 index. That's a lot of symbols, so let's see what we find. Now, um, when I start the scanner, uh, the system is actually doing something really cool in the background. So um, while it's doing that, you know, just, just understand it's literally checking every one of the 1500 symbols in that index, calculating their weekly charts identifying last four candles and making sure that the patterns it finds fit this style. So um, I've done the scan in the weekly chart, so I'm going to switch to uh, one of the symbols I found, and you can see how this works. I mean, this is an incredibly tight consolidation that we just found on this ARR symbol. I've never seen anything quite this tight um, in a long time. And when we zoom out, we can see um, that this is what I believe to be a pretty uh, nasty looking bear flag, right? Um, now I could be wrong, but um, I think this is gonna break down, you know, and it could be uh, uh, something that continues on down for a while. You know, and actually when I flip to like the monthly chart, right, you can see, um, you know, it may be basing, um, you know, we did make a higher low uh, uh, in April versus March, but it looks pretty weak. Um, I'm just curious what happens if I draw trend line roughly there yeah that seems to be what we're catching on yep so you know i don't know what this is going to do right um you know it could um it could do what i think it will and break down more right it does look pretty weak um but it could be basing and will possibly reverse the point i'm going to make to you right now is and this goes for anything you find not just with the scanner but any stocks you come across is don't guess Everybody always wants to guess, and I say don't guess, right? Pick your levels and let the market decide for you. And pick your levels widely. Like you'll notice I'm picking the widest ones I can here. What I'm gonna do now is make it really easy on myself for the future. I'm gonna create some alerts. I'm gonna make them go off on short time frames. I'm gonna make them last a little while. And I'm gonna create two of them on this chart because truthfully, you know, I may think this is going to break down. This could break out, and I don't want to guess. So I'm just going to create two alerts and wait for one of them to go off. Um, and as you can see, the apex is approaching, right? So one of them is going to have to go off fairly soon. So let's see what else we found. Um, you know, this uh, uh, looks interesting. We can take a look. You know, I mean, that is, uh, that is slight, but that is some RSI uh, divergence there. That's interesting. What's this APO? G thing also looks weak. This another eh, this kind of looks weak too. I mean, this uh, I would say this uh, ENSG thing could potentially be just a retest. Yeah, um, you know, I, I don't know if I trust a chart that looks like that right now. 
Um, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, you know, this, uh, this foundation building materials, I don't know. This, on the other hand, you know, like, I mean, it's uh, all of these look a little bit weak, but of all of these, you know, this kind of looks interesting. Um, you know, so again, I'm not going to guess, right? Um, when I see something that's interesting, all I do is I zoom in to a lower time frame. And this actually does look very interesting uh, on this daily chart here. I'm going to put a horizontal line right there. I'm going to draw a... Uh, line right there and you can see this to me looks like a ascending triangle and that is my favorite technical pattern i love trading these um, but again i want to be smart about it i don't want to rush into it so what i'm going to do is simply create an alert on this horizontal level right here i'm going to make it tight go off intraday and i'm going to have it last two weeks really three weeks um, and uh, create that alert Let's see, what else did we find here with this uh, VC symbol here? All right, um, you know, this could uh, could also be one that uh, could possibly have some promise. I'm not sure. Let's look. You know, um, on the weekly chart, kind of looks okay. What's going on on the daily, All right? Yeah, see, I like that divergence we have there. I like this uh, style. Uh, I'm not going to guess, obviously, because why guess? but I am going to stick an alert up here. Now what's great here is now that I've created a handful of alerts, right? I can go about my week, right? Um, I can, I can not worry about the charts, right? I can worry about my business. I can worry about helping customers. I can work, worry about working with my teammates because I just created a handful of alerts on a, it looks like, looks like, a handful of five symbols, four symbols here. And if uh, one of these charts decides to pick a direction that I'm interested in, I'll be instantly notified. This is, in my opinion, the best way to trade, right? It allows people who have lives and jobs to have patience in their trades. Um, you know, I am one of those people. I am not a full-time trader as much as I wish. Uh, I have a business to run and I have customers and employees that take up a lot of time and you know I can't be staring at charts all day but I do use uh, TrendSpider to watch a lot of charts for me when I'm in trades and you can see um, you know trades that I'm thinking about entering I have some alerts set on um, you know you can see uh, there are uh, uh, a variety of different types of alerts that I'm using right and some of them are bearish and some of them are bullish. Um, Lyft in uh, particular, this is an actual trade that I'm in, right? Um, you know, and I don't know how long this uh, pattern will continue. And honestly, to me, this is kind of a bearish pattern. You know, it looks like a bear flag to me. Lyft is not a chart I trust for long term. So I've got an alert on this uh, uh, lower trend line here, right? And, uh, you know, if price gets below it, I'll find out. I can get out of my position, right? And if I'm right about it, right, that it might be getting ready to reverse, then I've got, you know, a, a trade on my hands. But I use the alert in this case to manage my risk. Um, I also obviously use it for other things like letting me know when it's time to consider buying and getting into a position. Like this is a LOV, love. It's a, some dating network, right? Um, and I am not particularly bullish about this chart, but, you know, this is the type of chart that if it can rock, it can really rock. So I've got an alert set up here. If it breaks through and gets above this $4 level ever again, right, then I can set another alert on this downtrend. And if it happens to get over that, then it might be a wonderful trade. I mean, I could see this possibly flying, um, but I'm not going to guess. I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to rush into it. I'm just going to wait and see, you know, and let the market pick the direction and just follow it. Right. Um, in my opinion, that's a lot better than trying to guess, right? And, um, you know, estimate and guesstimate your way through. So I hope that helps. I hope you have a great week. Good luck trading. And uh, I hope you uh, like and are using TrendSpider in your trading. If you have any questions or need any help, just let us know. That's what we're here for. Take care. Bye bye.